We recognised there was no global coordinated approach to hepatitis B cure. So we brought together researchers and clinical scientists and, and in fact the HBV affected community now from all over the world to come up with a strategic plan for global hepatitis B cure. And, and the beauty of our coalition is that it's global because hepatitis B knows no borders. It's a major public health problem in regions of Africa, in regions of Asia, China of course, um, Indonesia, India, and yet it's not a one-size-fits-all disease. Different genotypes of hepatitis B, different responses to, to therapy across those genotypes, different stages of hepatitis B natural history. It's an extremely complicated disease, more so than hepatitis C, which doesn't have a nuclear reservoir. Hepatitis B can hide in the nucleus. So it's extremely complicated to try and develop a cure strategy for hepatitis B, but the time is right for such a cure strategy. It's part of, to support the WHO elimination of hepatitis or a viral hepatitis as a public health problem by 2030, we believe that cure is going to be an important pillar of that strategy. And but it's going to have to be, there has to be a global coordinated approach to hepatitis B cure. We simply don't have that until the launch of IceHBV, if you like. And we're working together with key stakeholders from around the globe. And by bringing together more than 50 of the leading researchers in hepatitis B from around the world and brainstorming for over two years, lots of discussions. We've identified the key knowledge gaps and the areas to move forward that we think will fast track a hepatitis B cure, more so than would have happened if IceHB wasn't doing this. We still need to know a lot more about the viral reservoir, the CCC, the covalently closed circular DNA molecule, which uniquely to hepatitis B can hide in the nucleus of the cell and is not targeted by any current therapy. We simply have no ability at the moment to target that molecule. We can control virus replication very effectively with current therapies, although they're lifelong and has its own problems. We need a finite treatment so that people aren't committed to a lifelong therapy. But we need the ability, if we had the ability to target this CCC DNA, we could eliminate hepatitis B infection completely. So there's that side of the story. And then there's the immune side of it. Now, I'm not an immune immunologist, but we also need to restore the host immune responses, the, the patient's immune responses, to those of somebody who has spontaneously cleared a hepatitis B infection. Now, whether that be somebody who has cleared a chronic infection or some, on, on treatment, for example, or somebody who has cleared an acute infection, of which more than a billion people in the world have cleared an acute infection naturally. Their, their immune response has been robust and they've controlled the virus infection. How? Why? We need to know that. And we need to look, compare the acute resolvers with the people who've got a sustained response from chronic infection. And what can we learn from that? We believe there's going to be a dual-pronged approach here. Restoring the immune system. People have chronic infection, have what's called an exhausted immune response. The T cells just don't work. The B cells just don't work. We still don't really know why. There's a lot more research needs to be done on B cells, for example. But we think it's going to be a dual-pronged approach between with, with the restoring that immune response and targeting the virus specifically. But we're particularly highlighting the necessity for more research on that CCC DNA molecule. We think we're going to learn so much more about the virus if we do that. People are always asking me for a hard number and when are we going to have a hepatitis B cure. I, we, we are already seeing advances um, and, and new molecules that are driving surface antigen loss, for example. A number of these molecules are going to be presented at this meeting. Um, I, I would like to think that within the next decade, we would have made significant advances towards hepatitis B cure but I'm not going to put a hard deadline on it. I don't think that's fair for the people living with chronic hepatitis B. I don't, we don't want to raise false hope, but through working together, IceHBV is going to fast track. And I think a cure will happen earlier than if we weren't all working together.